Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. Today we're going to be taste testing Mountain House Beef Stroganoff in a number 10 can. We're in a dark warehouse right now. All the lights are out, except for these lights. These are LED lights. We have about 8 watts worth of LED lights that are being powered right now by the pan charger. This is actually a DC generator that's fire powered and you can see that we're heating this with butane in the warehouse and you see that we're boiling water and at the same time this device is converting the temperature difference between the fire and the boiling water and it's generating electricity. So over here it's outputting 12 volts DC and we have four of these 2 watt uh, LED lights connected to it and uh, that's actually what the lighting is and there's one of our assistants <laughs> running lights and so uh, the water is boiling and uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the beef stroganoff and uh, we will taste test this and uh, let you know what we think we've turned off the heat and we're adding the dry mix and you'll want to stir this in completely and then cover this and let it sit for about eight to ten minutes. Okay, we've turned off the heat, but there's enough residual heat on the generator uh, on the bottom of the pan that it's still uh, generating electricity. So you can see that the lights are beginning to dim out here, but uh, they're still functional. So we're still actually running uh, LED lighting. I forgot to mention that although the output of the pan charger is actually 12 volts, um, it has the cigarette lighter outputs, but it also includes these adapters. So if you wanted to charge 5 volt devices, uh, 5 volt USB devices like iPads, iPhones, uh, camcorders, uh, GPS's, anything like that, you would just plug these adapters in and then here you would plug in the USB device that you want to be able to charge and at the same time you're able to use the 12 volt power so the, uh, the model that I just showed you is an 8 watt model and that power can be divided up uh, any combination of 12 volt and 5 volt devices up to a total of 8 watts okay we're about to start our taste testing of the uh, mountain house beef stroganoff and some of us have tried this before so we'll we'll let you know for sure who's tried it who hasn't tried it and uh... we're we're trying this today for two reasons one we have a can here that's very very damaged so we decided to go ahead and eat it for lunch today and secondly we're in the middle of our mountain house can sale now by the time you see this video the sale is probably over but uh, if you want to know about future can sales uh, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get a notice when we put out a new video announcing our next sale Now, have you tried this before? Never. Okay. Never. Very hot. Very tasty. Meat's very chewy. Like, not in a bad way, but the, hmm, this is meat kind of way. The uh, noodles are long. I'm not sure about Brian's opinion of these noodles from previous times, but they're pretty adequate as far as, you know, not being too mushy. <laughs> this is the first Mountain House can that I've tried. Let's, uh, let's give it a whirl here. That's good stuff. I like it. I'm going to get some of that. Mm -hmm. I see why everybody talks so highly about it. That's good stuff. You know, it's not too bad if you uh, don't end up mixing your freeze-dried mix too well and you end up with the dried chunks every so often because you get one of those in your mouth and you just got a flavor blast of everything you have in your meal. Now I've had this before and this is one of my favorite Mountain House. I love the uh, stroganoff. It tastes just as good as, what is that, hamburger helping it help us stroganoff, but you don't have to slave over the stove. All you have to do is boil some water. So, mm -hmm. 
very happy. I like this a lot. You're nodding your head over here. That's good stuff. Yeah. I agree with both of these guys. It's great. Yeah, just like Hamburger Helper, but less work. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people see Hamburger Helper as kind of lower end food. I'd say this is pretty high end as far as oh, I love this stroganoff. Stuff. You can't really go you know, too fancy with stroganoff, so mm -hmm. hit the pinnacle with this mountain house. Mm. I'm thinking like some Tabasco or, I don't know, Frank's Red Hot might work. No, do you need something? I don't need this? anything. No. It's great. Don't need anything, but it's already good, like Ethan was saying. You just want to make it better, but you don't need to add anything. Not even a question of, like, like yesterday we had that uh, corn tomato. I was like, oh, this could maybe use some salt, but not really. This is just, this is great. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, this is, this is good. Like John, this. have you had this before? I have, and I like the stroganoff. How long ago did you have it? Uh, at least a year. Is it better? <laughs> is it new and improved stroganoff? <laughs> No, we just had a massively dented can, so that's what we're having for lunch today. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Cannot go wrong with this. This is Midwestern food. Of Russian descent. Hot? Yes, hot. Yeah. We should have warned you. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> Amongst the best of what I've tasted so far of Mountain House. I think this is one of the more affordable ones. It kind of falls in the middle. Yeah, it is. Um, I, I've had this before and it's awesome. So, um, nothing needs to be said. I'll be back for seconds. That's it? That's it? <laughs> so, I've had this before and this is one of my favorites. Um, I do complain a lot about mushy noodles, but they definitely work in the stroganoff because the sauce is so good. It's, uh, it binds everything together, uh, very cohesive. Um, the chunks of meat are excellent. They uh, have a very good texture. Uh, the, all in all, the seasoning is great, and it's great. I, you know, I'm done. This is good. I'm eating. <laughs> Are you dancing for joy? The deep stroke up dance. This is me dancing. Busted! <laughs> On the inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's flavor dance. Mmm. It's all dark and nasty. The mushrooms. Yeah, baby. The mushrooms feel right, texture wise. But this is one of my favorite, and I just, I love it. It's very flavorful. <laughs> oh, God, this is so good. Yeah. Mm. Gosh, if there was more, I'd have thirds. 